Yo, this is my King JQ setup. You heard what's good, YouTube. It's your boy, Fire Squad 11, aka JQ. Appreciate y'all trying to do something different. Hope y'all fuck with it. So today we going to talk about Pat Sajak and how it's stalled century and how there's no reason for a game show host to be put in the category of like a hero. I don't want to say hero, but they like he's a legend, a TV legend, of course. But it's because like there wasn't a lot of game shows. There wasn't a lot of networks back in the day. There was one like a few networks with a few game shows and a lot of them were very popular and like Jeopardy, uh, Will of, like Will of Fortune and, and Bonna White. Like I, like there's no reason for him to make 14 million dollars a year. Like it's a spit and an insult to people working hard every day. Like, come on, let's be realistic here. And she's literally making three million doing absolutely nothing but touching the screen. Like, God bless them. Like, you know, I don't want to sound like a hater, but it's like, come on now. I'm working hard every day. I'm not getting millions for that. Like, this, your average person is not making any money. Like, and these people are just hosting shows and like, but basically it's sold century. He's finally not going to be the host after how many damn years? 41, I think. 41, 4 minus 1 is 3. It's always symbology behind this shit. So let's check it out. Pat Sajak, half of one of the most famous duos on TV, will say goodbye tonight. As Pat Sajak takes his final spin on the Tonight is going to be his last episode. Let's see how many people tune in and care. 41 years. Whoa. Remember this, that this would be a final Old season. Century. And now the 77-year-old is offering his parting words to the audience. Jolene Kent looks back at the legendary career of a man who helped teach us all the art of solving a puzzle. Whoa, he well, taught us the art of solving a puzzle. Bro, no Pat Sajak ain't teach me a damn thing except... That you can make millions of hosting a show if you connected in the Illuminati. It's been an incredible privilege to be invited into millions of homes. I don't even have cable. So it's a different world, Pat. Like think about it. He started in 1980 something, like when I was born. Because I'm close to that age. But come on, bro. We all had the good fortune. Yeah, okay. The good fortune stole century. Meanwhile, they're bombing the, you know what? In the Middle East, the, this is more important. off the screen into our living room. The only reason I'm laughing is because your mother is Pat Myrie. You're trying to get Rocco involved in these skateboarding. Your mother panicked my rear end. Friends Bulldog. Whoa. That's how I got this job. <laughs> and with each spin, bought vowel. A. Sure, three A's. So Slip away. A strange loop wins the Tony. Yeah, that's a And of course, a notable miss or two. Tomorrow's right in the butt. Yo, two butt references. That's not by accident. Host with Vanna White by his side made him a TV legend. When I first started, I was I so green. That. You made me so comfortable and made me so confident, Pat. You made me who I am. You really did. Oh man, Pat Sajak made that woman his daughter Maggie about the, the show's staying power. People coming up to us almost every day, sometimes in tears, saying, that "I used to watch the show with my with my grandmother, and now I'm watching it with my kids." Or my kids learned the alphabet from your show, or my mom came from the Philippines and learned to speak English. We didn't attend any of that, and yet we've become. Dan knows your thing, people. What it is like subscribing, coming generations and families. Dan, Dan knows it's a stalled century. This is a now, prime example of stalled century. Now, he's got a decorated host in his own right, as Ryan Seacrest buzzes in for his turn at the wheel. It really does feel like an end of an era. Angelique Jackson is a senior entertainment writer at Variety. He's still going to get paid. He's going to be a consultant for the show. He's still going to make money off y'all. Can anyone else get 41 seasons and pull it off the way he did? I mean, quite simply, no. This is just not the way that... 
TV works anymore. You don't have a game show that is part of everybody's lives when they are a child and then they are married and then they are a parent and then they are a grandparent. The end of our era. So basically the video point was that we're living in a stalled century where things aren't progressing correctly. I mean, we shouldn't even worry about game shows in this world. Like, a game show's cool, but it's a little outdated. Um, interactive maybe TV where we could be the the part of the game in your home and I mean technology ain't helping either because robots and you already know we talk about on the conspiracy news so this is like a little stall century segment and um pass a jack I don't care bye 14 million okay let's do the math let's do the math quick let's do the math what we could have, what what we could have done with fourteen million? Okay, let's see the fortune. Let's see the fortune he amassed. Fourteen times forty-one. Half a half a billion, five hundred million. Pat Sajak has made hosting the show. Oh, the disparity of the the wealth and income is like it's like. The ninth floor to the basement, like, it's crazy, man. But uh, thank you for watching, and um, I'll probably keep doing these. And yeah, this is my new sub, it's King J2, man, in my chair, you feel me? Peace, deuces. Thank you for listening. Pipe said, Jack, enjoy your last episode. I ain't gonna be watching it. <laughs>